So I'm gonna... Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> Playing a little bit of Wolfenstein too on my Switch. It's really awesome. Um, believe it or not, I've been giving this game a lot of time. Actually, I'm further on here than I am on my PC. Um, because I don't sit down at the PC very often to play games. I usually play on my PS4 or, uh, you know, hang out with my wife watching movies or playing games together. And until I get her a gaming PC, that's going to wait. But Wolfenstein 2 uh, on the Switch is really kind of cemented in my mind what the Switch is capable of. I also have Doom and Skyrim and all these other games uh, that are on PS4 and Xbox. And believe it or not, I'm starting to believe that the Switch could potentially be the biggest thing this generation. It's really crazy to say that because I know uh, Sony has uh, The Last of Us, they got God of War, they got all these IPs, you know, Uncharted, things like that, which are amazing. But the potential of playing the Switch like anywhere you go, the gyro controls, if you haven't tried it, uh, like with the Switch, if I'm playing Wolfenstein and I put the Switch down and take the controllers off, you can actually aim at characters like that. And... Uh, it really kind of blew my mind the first time I did it. It felt like the equivalent to a mouse and keyboard, how accurate it was. But that's not what this video is about. First of all, welcome guys to the Beastly Gamer channel. Uh, it's been a long time. I wanted to try something different uh, and sit down with my, my camera and talk to you guys about something that I'm starting to really be excited about. It's been a long time since I've been as excited as I am. Uh, about any any video game. Uh, I can't remember. What was the last time, I, last thing I was super excited for? Wasn't Call of Duty, wasn't Spider-Man. I still haven't bought Red Dead Redemption 2. As big of, of a fan of Smash Brothers as I am, I still haven't bought that because I really don't uh, have m many people to play with. My son's a pretty good at Smash. My son bought it for his Switch uh, and I whooped his ass, so no real reason for me to buy it. Shout out to Not Too Nerdy Entertainment. Uh, who actually uh, made a video recently, who wanted to challenge me in Smash Brothers. I'll get around to it, not too nerdy. Today's video is about one game that I have pre-ordered uh, that comes out in two days that I'm super amped about. Um, lots, of, lots of my feelings are nostalgia. Uh, lots of my feelings are what I'm seeing on Metacritic. Uh, lots of my feelings are the things that I've seen in their one-shot demo. Of course, I'm talking about Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, this is a big deal to me. I'm an old guy. I'm almost 40, man. Uh, and I guess when you get my age, some things slow down and don't work as well. My fingers do, so I'm ready for the game. I played uh, the Resident Evil 2 one-shot demo, made a video about that. It really blew my mind uh, what Capcom has done here with that RE engine, the Resident Evil engine. Uh, it felt familiar. It felt different. It felt. It looked beautiful. The lighting. The, the lighting system they use is, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it in a video game. And the one shot demo caught me off guard because I was figuring you had one shot as many times as you wanted, but it's only a 30 minute window. So you could go through over and over again, but 30 minutes and it's over. I was wrong. I was damn wrong because you play the demo once and then it locks you out. And I didn't feel like making duplicate accounts to play it again. So I just did the one shot, but it's super awesome. And I'm watching all the Metacritic's. Metacritic score is sitting at around 90. The game is out in two days. I've watched ACG's review. I've seen many reviews. It came out, the embargo lifted four hours ago for the review. And pretty much everybody's saying what I thought just by playing the game uh, in that one shot demo that this is game of the year contender potential. It's going to be on the list. It's going to be on the list. Uh, Resident Evil means so much to me. Uh, in a bygone era, I remember walking into a, a store. It was called a video store, uh, and by the name of Blockbuster Video. I know it's dinosaur days to you youngsters playing Fortnite. I walked into Blockbuster, and um, at this time, believe it or not, you could rent consoles too. Uh, they had PlayStations for rent. They had Nintendo 64s for rent. We owned them, but it was a bygone era, and I remember that Mario 64 was there and I played it at Blockbuster for the first time and it sent shivers down my spine what you could do with this new alien technology called uh, the analog stick and I remember the Resident Evil 2 demo came out and you could start as Leon running down the streets of Raccoon City it was the first time I was really terrified in a video game uh, it felt just 
cramped and congested. You, it was hard to move because of tank controls. Uh, it, it just seemed very new and the technology of the characters and the way it looked back then was really top notch. And it holds a special place in my heart as a Resident Evil fan. And I'm a true Resident Evil fan. Uh, you know, I think Resident Evil 4, Code Veronica, Resident Evil 2. I even bought the um, the old, uh, what is it called? I'm trying to remember. There was an online Resident Evil game for PlayStation 2 where you had to actually buy the little um, Ethernet adapter and you could play online with three other players. I bought that years ago. I hate the movies. I'm a big fan of the games. And so when, when I found out they were making this game uh, and I saw what they were doing with it, I haven't felt the tingle like I feel right now in years. I am so giddy about getting getting my hands on this game. Uh, I mean, I want to take some vacation days. I really do. I want to take some days off. I'm probably not going to do it because I got some plans uh, with my vacation time this year. But are you guys excited for it? Right now is a really tough time to be excited for video games because there's so many games coming out. I talked to my older brother about this this morning uh, when I was in my office. We got Kingdom Hearts a couple of days after Resident Evil. Uh, we got uh, uh, Anthem coming real soon. And I don't know what to expect of that, but I do know what to expect of Kingdom Hearts and Resident Evil because I play Resident Evil. I know what Resident Evil's lore is. I know they changed a lot of the game. I know the enemies are in different places and they took out a lot of stuff, added a whole bunch of scenes. And I just read something on Polygon uh, that even made me more excited about Resident Evil because it's different than... I'm not trying to talk to you. Uh, it's different than uh, what we originally thought. You know, the honk and tofu sections of the game, we know that's there because they, they leaked it already. But according to this article um, on Polygon, Resident Evil 2, uh, well, uh, the add-on content will star three new characters. So three new survivors who weren't in the original. And, and this made me really excited. So I bought the special edition pre-order. I don't even know what I get, but I just bought the special edition because if there's any potential of getting extra stuff, I wanted it for this game. Uh, the ghost survivors will be free. So this D DLC is going to be free for Resident Evil. Capcom is working on a new game mode for Resident Evil 2 Remake that offers three additional perspectives on the zombie infestation of Raccoon City. That mode, the ghost survivors, will be released as a free update to the game. Capcom announced at Resident Evil 2's launch event in Japan. The Ghost Survivors will be a side story that focuses on three survivors. Robert Kendo, the firearms dealer who owns Raccoon City's Kendo Gun Shop, an unnamed member of the Umbrella Security Service, and Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren's daughter, uh, who, who meets a tragic fate at the hands of the city's police chief. According to a translation of the event from Silicon Era, the Ghost Survivors will include randomized scenarios and an enemy uh, unique to the game mode and a shop where players can purchase items with points they earn in-game. We reach out to Capcom for more details. And in addition to the, the, the Ghost Survivors, Capcom has some more free content planned. Way to go, Capcom. Um, so this is even more reason to be excited because I wanted to go through the story with Leon and Claire, you know, as my mind, my memory dictates. You know, I, I, I actually was playing the one-shot demo inside the police station and I, I kind of knew what was going on but things look slightly different this is going to add a whole new layer to it because it's, they're introducing new content new characters i'm super amped for this game um this is the one that i'm playing i will be playing this for the foreseeable future i don't know if i'm going to go through it multiple times and try to i don't platinum games i don't platinum games i don't really care to do that i never have but I may have to platinum this game because I'm such a huge fan of Resident Evil and, and this looks like it's going to be one of the best best gaming experiences I've had in years. So the, the point of this video, I want to know what you guys think about it. Is it too scary for you? Is it right up your alley? Have you ever played the original? Let me know in the comments. Also, is Kingdom Hearts or potentially Anthem more, you know, getting you excited than Resident Evil? Let me know in the comments. But thank you guys for watching. It's been a while since I made a video. Shout out to my boy Not Too Nerdy. I saw your video today. Good job. Uh, and uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for my channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because I am back. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.